Hi guys, today we're going to be building an Android app which highlights events in a calendar. For this project, I chose API 15 and you want to select an empty project. The first thing that you need to do is add the dependency from the GitHub page and add it to your build.gradle.app file and then sync the Gradle. Next, copy the compact calendar view widget and add it to your XML file. Delete the text view that is there. Head on over to the main activity and declare the following variables. Inside of the all create method, you're going to type final action bar action bar is equal to get support action bar action bar dot set display home up enable and you're going to set that to false. You're going to set action bar dot set title. You're going to set that to null. Okay, and the variable that we created earlier is going to be compact calendar is equal to compact calendar view. So you're going to cast that to find view by ID r dot id compact calendar view. You're going to use the set use tree letter abbreviation method on compact calendar and you're going to set that to true now um, we're going to set up an event for teachers professional day because teachers professional day is in a few days so that's the date that i chose to highlight in this calendar event ev1 is equal to new event and you're going to set the color of the event to red remember you hit all enter for your import statements and you're going to have to use an epoch calendar epoch and units timestamp conversion tool to convert that date to a long date and then you paste it in here inside this code and you add an L to the end of it because it's a uh, long and I guess you can give it a brief description teachers professional day the next thing that you want to do is add this event to your calendar. So it's compact calendar dot add event and you put EV1. The next step is to set up a listener to handle any click events. So it's compact calendar dot set listener new compact calendar view and when you hit enter it auto, auto completes and it adds the two methods. 
in the on there click method. Write this, type this line context context is equal to get application context. And then I use an if statement to display a toast message if your event has been selected. And if it hasn't been selected, it will display another toast message that says that there were no events planned for that day. Now if you look carefully at this code, you'll notice that the date click is being converted to a string and is being compared to another string. Now I found that when I clicked on one of the dates, it returned a string. So I just used the same format as, as that string in this code. When the user clicks on Friday, October the 21st, they will see a message, um, Teachers Professional Day. I just copied the code from the um, the if clause and I just change it to no events are planned for that day so if the user clicks on a date that is not Friday October the 21st then that message will be displayed at this point I spelled action bar incorrectly and it gave me an error in my code and it took me like five minutes to figure out what the error was. But if you compare the action bar in the on mom scroll method and the on create method, you'll see that the on create method has one with a capital, sorry, with a lowercase b. So I just had to make that small change 